Today we're going to be going through the maintenance and cleaning and oiling of your sewing machine prior to a day's work. We will need to do um, various little processes and the first one we're going to be doing is just a general clean. Then we're going to use the half inch bristle um, paintbrush. Then I've got a stiff little nylon brush that Benina provide with cleaning. Um, and that can help lift some very awkward pieces. I've got a pair of tweezers in case of needing to find a stray thread, a wooden orange stick, a micro cleaning tip, and most importantly, some good quality cotton buds. And I do say quality cotton buds because some of the cheaper brands of um, cotton buds leave more fluff than they remove. This is a needle plate screw screwdriver, a small screwdriver that I will use as part of the oiling process in a moment and of course a fresh needle that we'll be using at the start of each day. This is a pipe cleaner, this is a nylon pipe cleaner again because we want it lint free and that also helps me get rid of some bits and pieces if I need to. We're now going to be looking at the Benina hook, the more recent development of the Benina hook. These are the machines that have the jumbo bobbins. The principle is always the same. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the thread from the point here. And I'm actually going to draw the thread with the presser foot in the up position through the machine forward. This avoids lint building up in the tension discs here. And while I'm talking about the tension discs, we can always clean the tension disc using our nylon pipe cleaner by placing it into the tension discs and just running it forward uh, several times. Now that should help to remove any lint that's built up in that area. We're now going to dismantle the machine. We're going to remove our presser foot. We're going to ensure that our feed dogs are in the lowest position and unlocked. And then we're going to remove the needle then the needle plate and then you can see within there any debris that may have built up in recent sewing. I'm going to remove the bobbin case with the bobbin in, taking the bobbin out and then I'm going to drop the race forward and remove the hook. So now everything is there ready for us to clean. Now these machines, especially those that have got the thread cutting mechanism, do need a certain amount of care when you clean them. So we're gently going to just take the lint brush, I'm using the mini dust it, which is a lamb's wool, and we're going to just take it and use it within there. Now that will take out the vast majority of any lint that you're using. The danger is with these machines, I tend not to use this brush, I will use this one very gently and take it all through. Anything I see in particular, I will then run it through on the race. Okay, once again, using a good quality cotton bud, I will actually just run that around the race. And you can see again, you're starting to pick up. There we are. Okay, so. Once that's all done, we're then going to drop a drop of the oil on. I'm using the only oil that is suitable for these faster running machines. It's a Velocitite number six. This is one that our service engineer provides for us. And we can pop that on the race like that. Okay, these machines also need oiling in this space here. So I'm going to take that, give it a clean and I'm going to drop the oil into the two felt pads either side of the spindle. And now I have to replace this big circle back in. And I know that a lot of you tell me you have problems, but there is a quite a clever little trick which does help. And I just take it forward, place it in there like that, and then we can just give it a little wiggle and it drops into place for us. Once it's in there and firmly done, we're going to click it back into place, checking that it doesn't come out. We then need to just make sure that our bobbin case is clean 
and the brake spring is in place correctly. So just give it a little wipe round. With these machines, you have your asymmetric bobbins, so it will only go in one way. We need to thread it up correctly, pop it through, and then we're going to put it in. Now, my advice is always to have the bar in horizontally. It's the only way it can go. But using two fingers, one above, one below, and push it in so it's away securely. And we're going to place our needle plate here, popping a hand there, pushing it down. Then we need to put our presser foot on like that and then replace with one of the two needles that we've got on the table depending on what it is we're doing. The only other thing that you may want to do is just give the screen a little bit of a wipe down and then perhaps a little rub with a microfiber cloth. Thank you very much for spending some time watching this video. I hope that it has helped you with um, the confidence you need to take these machines apart and clean and oil them on a regular basis. This helps to keep the machine happy and your project going ahead. If this video hasn't actually answered all your questions, please don't hesitate to contact us so we can help you further. All the products that we've shown, we should be able to supply you with also.